Hello, I'm uh, Tomi Hentinen, Chief Innovation uh, Officer at Gravicon. In this project, I have been uh, responsible for defining the principles of BIM modeling in architectural design. I have been also leading the Gravicon's BIM coordination team. In this video, I will explain the principles of architectural BIM modeling for LCA calculation developed in this project and how to identify different types of building elements. The software used in the, uh, the software used in the project are the Finnish versions of Revit uh, 2024 and ArchiCAD 27 for the architectural design and for uh, data uh, validation and checking, we have been using Solibri Office. Uh, for data exchange, we have used IFC, uh, more precisely the IFC version 4. Although this is a fictional project, we wanted to simulate a normal design process. Architect Office Huvila OU was appointed as the architectural designer for the project. Huvila was also responsible for creating Revit models, as it is their primary design tool. Architects at Huvila developed two building types, a residential block and an office building. Two frame material versions we developed for both buildings, a concrete structure and a timber structure. In addition, a building permit version and an as-built version of both buildings were made. The architectural design closely followed the specifications uh, of the international IFC standard ISO 16739 part 1. This was done to ensure that the outputs of different programs were consistent. Uh, for each element in the design model, the correct IFC class, predefined type and the required properties were defined. In this this information allows the IFC model to be filtered by element group. In the IFC, each type of building element and product element is assigned uh, a project specific type designator. This allows the, allow, uh, the elements to be linked to external material and product data. The IFC data model provides the quantity information for each element. Quantities can be read from the model as lengths, areas, volumes, and number of items, depending on the elements. The IFC model data is transferred to LCA calculation software. The IFC model contains quantitative data only for the elements to be implemented, waste, material, formwork, supports, and other temporary structures must be considered separately. In addition, the LCA software must include quantitative estimates for elements not included in the design model. The project specific types, uh, type designators in the IFC model can be used in the LCA calculation software to link the breakdown structure and product information for each element. Here is the architectural model the, developed by the architect uh, office Huvila uh, in, in Revit. Uh, I have also the, the same model uh, in, in ArchiCAD and both models loaded to, to uh, Solibri office. So now I have uh, the same model and as, as can be seen, these models are, are the same and in same position. The location, of course, is a, a highly relevant uh, issue and it must be checked in the beginning of the project that the, uh, the, all models are located in the same coordinates. Uh, if we dig in a little bit deeper and then check some of the components, for example, uh, the wall component, uh, all these contain the uh, proper IFC properties. So this is IFC wall exported to IFC as an IFC wall. Its predefined type is partitioning and the same uh, uh, properties can be found also in ArchiCAD. Let's look at these models in Solibri. If we make an information takeoff, we can see that all entity types created in two design software share the same type designators. 
For example, here are the columns. The column P1 exists both in ARCHICAD and Revit models. Since the geometry is the same and they share the same coding system, it doesn't matter what architecture software has been used. We can take out the same quantities and identify the same components. This goes through all different element types. The uh, separate uh, site models are also produced. And as you can see, here is the uh, ARCHICAD site model, and here is the, the Revit site model. They little bit vary uh, in the detail, but uh, the quantities that uh, need to be uh, needed are, are needed in, in the LCA calculation, they are the same. So here we see the full model, Revit model, and the full ARCHICAD model in, in Solibri. In this project, we investiga investigated how different design software can support LCA calculation. The modeling approach within the different design software differs somewhat, but as we proved in this project, the IFC models they produce can be produced with almost identical content. This allows a software-independent LCA calculation. In the project, we also found out that the quantity data used for LCA calculation and, for example, for cost calculation are the same, so that the design models that meet the needs of LCA calculation also serve other use cases. This motivates the correct design of the models and improves the quality of the data. The key is to have consistent national and international specifications through which the modeling can be harmonized. Thank you for your time.